here we have this really nice slider on the home page of the website. We're going to take a, take a look at how you can actually change what photos appear in that slider. So how to edit them, how to delete them, and all that good stuff. So the first step that I recommend taking in case you forget how to do this is to just click edit and actually see where these photos are coming from. So now we're in edit mode. What we can do is we can go to settings for this particular slider. I clicked on that little gear icon. And what you're going to see is in this general section, we've got a list of places where you can define where those photos are coming from. So you can have it come from a photo album. You can have it come from the demo image file. I don't know why you would, but you can. And uh, you can also designate a particular folder as well. And that's what we've done. So in other words, what this is telling us is in order to change and manipulate what photos are displaying on the home page, we actually have to change and manipulate what photos are in this particular folder. So resources, pictures, home page slider. You can also set other things like, you know, randomizing order, how long images appear, what the transition effect is. So you've got a lot of options in here. We're not going to go into those, um, but know that those are there for you. Okay, so we're, we haven't changed anything, so we're just going to click cancel. Now we're going to navigate to where that file folder is here in Wild Apricot. So we've got site pages, page templates, system pages, and files. This is where you're going to be saving the media. So PDFs, images, all that kind of stuff that you have on the website. All right, we've opened that folder. Now we're going to drill down into pictures and home page slider. So I named it home page slider just to make it easy for you to kind of recognize which folder is which. Um, so if you go in here, if you wanted to delete one of the existing photos, uh, you could just go through and figure out which one you want to delete, click it, and then believe, yeah, it's this little sort of gray icon right here to delete it. Because these photos are randomized, changing where or how they're listed here um, is not going to change how they appear. You can, though, if you were to go back to the settings and unclick randomize, then they would show up basically in alphanumeric order. So if you wanted to have those photos show up in a certain order, just FYI, you can do that, but you'd have to take those steps. So anyways, let's take a look at how to add something. So basically what we're going to do is upload a photo. So I'm going to click this little upload icon. I've already actually grabbed a new photo um, and put it on my desktop. So we're going to scroll past these embarrassing photos of myself and grab this new nice photo. Now this photo is, un from, is from Unsplash and I've already gone through and actually reduced the file size of this photo so that it does not take an extremely long time to load. Um, what I've done is used M Microsoft Paint on my PC to reduce the width of the photo from something like 5,000 pixels to something more reasonable like 2,000. Um, that's just kind of a quick and dirty way to optimize photos for the web so that they don't take up too much resources or bandwidth, basically. So we've got our little optimized image. We've grabbed it. We're going to click OK. And that's going to load that photo. So now um, we don't have to do anything. It's already uploaded. There's no save button or anything. Um, what we're going to do, though, is just navigate back and confirm that it is working. here on the home page. All right, it might take a little minute to load, depending on how good my Wi-Fi is going. Yeah, but suffice it to say, if this image is loaded correctly, we should see it appear sort of randomly in the mix here on the home page. I am not going to force you to wait for this to load because it's not working. Um, but yes, that is kind of the quick and dirty on how you actually load these new photos. Here we go. It's finally loading. Great. Um, because, again, this is sort of a random photo in a group of photo photos, um, it will show up here 
based on the kind of time and settings that we programmed into the back end. So again, I'm not going to make you wait for that. But when you do this, of course, confirm to make sure that it's coming up the way it should.